still mush. Number three, investigate. Senator Pat Leahy today announcing a hearing next Wednesday for his Senate Judiciary Committee titled Getting to the Truth Through a Nonpartisan Commission of Inquiry. It is in his office's words to explore ideas on how best to establish a commission to examine past national security policies. As Jonathan Turley keeps pointing out, there is one problem with the so-called Truth and Reconciliation Commission idea. It usually ends up with everybody getting immunity and nobody getting prosecuted. He is not the only one worried about that. Today, Rachel got an exclusive interview with Speaker of the House Pelosi, who is not high on this political immunization vaccine. Senator Leahy has a proposal, Truth and Reconciliation Commission, and um, which is a good idea. What I have some concern about there is it has immunity. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that some of the issues involved here, like the politici politicizing of the Justice Department and the rest, may have a, um, criminal ramifications, and I don't think we should be giving them immunity. The rest of Rachel Maddow's interview with the Speaker on prosecuting the Bushies and a host of other topics coming up when she joins you at the top of the hour. Number two, Rovegate. Where was Karl Rove Monday when he was scheduled to answer the House Judiciary Committee subpoena? We know he was not at the Judiciary Committee. In still murky circumstances, obviously suggesting negotiations ongoing with his attorneys, the committee said suddenly it was not planning on hearing from Rove Monday after all. It could have sent a representative to Schaumburg, Illinois, where Mr. Rove instead testified to a Republican fundraiser. And number one, Nursing Home Gate. This is a brand new one, a last-minute Bush rule change that was not revealed until yesterday when Bloomberg News ferreted it out. Without public notice, the president designated state nursing home inspectors and Medicare and Medicaid contractors for nursing homes as federal employees. So... Well, federal employees are usually not allowed to give evidence in private lawsuits. In other words, if your grandmother dies in a nursing home where the federal inspector has warned of deplorable, life-threatening conditions in her room and you sue, the federal inspector can no longer testify and you have to jump through even more hoops now just to get his report. In other words, on his way out the door, Mr. Bush just took a $144 billion industry that can only grow as time goes by and he virtually immunized it from civil suits. And for 36 days after the Bush presidency ended, nobody knew about it. Attorneys specializing in nursing home legislation were flat-footed and dumbfounded by this news. So if you want to know why we still do this segment every night and why, to refer back to Senator Leahy's idea, a Truth and Reconciliation Commission may not do the job, here is the perfect example. Out of office for more than a month, and George W. Bush is still damaging this nation. New ways. His is the unmarked landmine field of presidencies.